What is up guys and welcome back. Right, we're going to have our tutorial here on all the five gold ranks for this particular challenge. Now, not too difficult. Uh, still some bike challenges are difficult for certain people, but overall not very difficult. So going with the snake, drifting repairs your bike, as well as the nitros restoration for airtime. Now the biggest problem people are saying they're having is the won't stop, which is to finish in two seconds or less. And what this requires you to do is to continuously hold down accelerate the entire time you're on this level. And if you hold brake, that on the top right corner there, that's going to tick up. You want to keep it in the gold at the bottom and you brake by using your drift. Now this will definitely take some getting used to, but uh, once you've waxed that, the boost and the won't stop are going to be fairly easy for you. Now, there's only 10 freakers you need to kill in the end. But uh, I like to take them all out just to get the multiplier up a little bit more. But I do have two runs on this video and I'm going to explain what the second run, well I attempted to do on the second run to try and get a higher score. But this over here, you've got to watch this rock on the left, that has gotten me multiple times. And there's a wide open area here to do a massive drift. And at about this time, my boost normally stops and I reactivate it for a couple of seconds. And then do some donuts taking out these freaks. And when that's all done, even when you're boosting in the air, guys, boost, continuously boosting in the air. And the biggest tip I can give for that is to make sure your vibration is turned on, your controller. The second your controller stops vibrating, you are not boosting anymore. So it's a very good way to tell if you're boosting because uh, the flame doesn't stay at the back of his bike the whole time. Now here I like to hold down the circle button, brake a lot. And uh, the second you release that button, you're going to go a little bit of a boost forward. So be, be prepared for that. Make sure you're lined up before you release the drift or in this case the brake so around this point you could normally get as you can see it's gold on the uh, drive-by that's all the freak shot but I'm boosting constantly the entire time now I'm boosting and only when the boost stops on its own I will repress X and boost again this corner over here coming down here you can get all the way you can boost as you can see it's pretty damn close and there it is can't stop is going to be the boost for a total of 60 seconds so technically I don't need a boost anymore so what I could do is take as long as I like, as long as my fuel will allow me to, and kill freakers, do donuts, uh, get the multiplier up, and I'm going to show you about that in the next one. So this one, I just wanted to go through and get all five gold ranks. I was lucky to get away with that right there. And again, my boost stops normally about here, uh, the repetition, and I almost screwed this up. Now again, depending on what you need, if you've got boost and you've got everything else, you could take it easy through this section, but uh, you can boost the, ent the entire way through here at least and get the perfect little dodges left and right for those vehicles. Up here, the worst corner, I hold down circle and even then he wouldn't turn for me. But uh, like I said, there's no time limit. The time limit in this challenge essentially is your fuel gauge. Now, if you put on a, a ring or something that makes gives you extra fuel, you could extend this. But uh, at the moment, Gold is going to be fine for me. And that was about, and as you can see there, yeah, the won't stop is your bonus for finishing. So if that timer ticks up, you're going to get less and less, 25,000 and then 10,000 down. Right, so on this challenge, uh, this particular one I just did, I had a, uh, what was it, all the time now doing little dodges, little lefts and right. I remember it's not the length of time that you drift to get the multiplier up, it's the initiation of the drift. So small little left and right circles, just like that, bang, bang, left and right, will increase your multiplier one per drift now over here i like to use this long stretch for my boost all the way down again being cautious of that rock it's gotten me so many times on the left there and this blue van has also given me a bit of trouble but over here boosting and drifting all the way and then the boost will stop about here and then take out the freak freaks being sure to keep moving being sure to never let go of the accelerate button using the circle as your brake the entire time Take out all these guys, although my drive-by gold is done. Just getting the multiplier up like I mentioned. So over here, even boosting in the air, and I'll stop boosting about here, hold down circle, and line myself up normally <laughs> to get through these trees. Boosting, 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 and about here, I'll stop boosting and hold down circle. Now you can go all the way on there and keep boosting, but I messed up more times. I like to slow down there and line up that ramp. And going through here, pretty straightforward. Take out some more freakers. As you can see, another gold, or that is the drive-by gold, sorry, for this one. So again, taking my time, uh, I think 80 was uh, the multiplier I had quite far ahead. So at this point, I was like, okay, I want to get a decent multiplier higher than the last time. I want to see what kind of difference it makes. 
but um, I feel if you hold back in the beginning more and get a higher multiplier at the start, all the stuff that you're getting now is going to be higher because it's going to be multiplied higher. So what I did wrong was went to the end and then increased my multiplier, which pretty much I can assume does nothing because there's no more checkpoints, no one else to kill except a couple of freaks there at the end. So I might give this another bash. Oh, I definitely will give it another bash. Uh, it's not too difficult. And uh, see if I can get a higher score and get a higher multiplier at the start. It's just difficult to judge how much fuel you're going to have left. Whereas at the end, the second you get to your red fuel, you can just cross the finish line and you're safe. So it's about timing. I have to time how long, how much fuel I have. And we can get into that. So over here, normally I would just go through. I get, get the check mark to get the highest possible uh, score for that. And then go back, do some more drifts, take out the other freaks and then boost away. So I'm on 125, so the last time I ramped over this ramp, I was way less. There's also a freak on the left sometimes you can get if you're running short. But over here, again, need to get my boost uh, gold going. And then the air time, oh, it's all done now. So it's just the air time I need to get. So now, now it's all gold. Now I can pretty much do what I want. So now I was getting my multiplier up as much as I can. And in the end, I got just over 50 times more multiplier than my initial run. And you'll see what the score difference is. It's uh, not that much, so maybe 50 isn't enough to actually get a higher score. Who knows? We will see in the future. I hope you guys that watched my streams last night on Twitch and YouTube had loads of fun. I certainly did. Answered lots of questions about the challenges and upcoming challenges. I definitely will be live streaming, but on YouTube from now on, so I can record it properly. Just need to fix my mic. Well, sort the mic out. So over here, I decided to go through it with 169. And it only gave me like 3,000 more than my first run. So, do this how you will. But uh, obviously the score you require is only 100,000. So this tutorial should smash you through the rest of those if you're having any trouble. Right guys, this is my Patreon supporters. Feel free to come join me there. It costs absolutely nothing just to, flow, <laughs> just to follow. So guys, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It doesn't have to cost you anything or become a member of the YouTube channel. There's going to be lots more of these streams coming definitely in the future. The rest is all going to be streamed live just after release. So I want to say thanks for watching, guys, and I want to catch you on the next one.